uh, receiver Justin Brown. Well, Justin, just talk about the progress the receivers have made. You're a senior. Are you, are you happy with the group? Yeah, very happy. You know, you know, we still got a ways to go, but you know, today I think we did pretty well with blocking and catching the ball, and you know, getting getting open and whatnot, and making it easy on the quarterback. So, um, I think we did okay today. When you look at the new offense and some of the things you're doing as a receiver, how much does that excite you as a player? Um, it's real exciting. You know, you guys got a, a real small glimpse of how it is today, but um, you know, there's probably gonna be more to come. And uh, you know, it's real exciting. You know, like I said before, there's a lot of things you can do with it, but you know, we just couldn't get into all that today. What's the biggest thing you feel like you've improved on personally since the bowl game to this point? Um, just you know, concepts. You know, learning how to run different routes. Uh, reading coverages, you know, basically everything about being a receiver, you know, catching the ball and finishing the play and whatnot. How did it feel to get out in front of the fans today? Uh, it felt good. You know, I know the fans are probably excited to see what we we're going to do. And, um, you know, they got a little taste of how we, how we ran things today. Joined by quarterback Matt McGloin. Well, Matt, when you were handed the playbook for the first time, what went through your head? Um, I was excited at first, but I knew it was going to be a tough challenge. I'm, I'm proud of the way we've uh, gone through this spring. I learned the playbook, um, getting better each and every day. And I thought we did a good job out there today, maybe a little inconsistent at times. But, you know, anytime you get a new offense, man, you're going to have to deal with that. Take the fans through the progression of things from practice one through practice 15. How much have you improved? Huh. Well, definitely. I mean, everybody's improved drastically. I mean, it's like I said, it's a new playbook. It's a new offense we're learning. It's, it's like you're trying to learn a new foreign language is what it is. But um, I'm, I'm real proud of the way everybody's handled it so far, and we have come a long way. What's been the biggest challenge? Um, I think just being relaxed and getting comfortable with the things you know and working on things you don't know. I mean, you know, out there today, obviously, we have, sometimes we're wrong, uh, wrong formations. We mix plays up in our heads, things like that. But like I said, I, I think we're going to focus on the positives right now. And, uh, you know, when we go back and watch the film, then we'll focus on the negatives. What are some of the most important things you need to do as a quarterback in the offense? What do you have to do well? Just manage the game. Um, you know, manage the game, like I said, manage the game, and that's really all the quarterback needs to do in this offense. And, you know, we're going to have a good shot to win each day. Who of the young guys or maybe some guys who haven't played a lot on offense has, have impressed you this spring? Um, I mean, all of our wideouts, I'm going to have to say. You know, this offense, you know, guys are coming in and out, in and out. We're using four or five wideouts maybe and sometimes in our sets. And, uh, you know, I, th I think each wideout has stepped up on their own and, and made strides. Now that spring ball is over, what's next? What are you working on between now and training camp? Right now we're just going to focus on academics. So, uh, we're getting down here to the end here. I'm graduating in May, so I'm looking forward to that. But, like I said, we have a long summer ahead of us, and, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. Finally, it had a lot of fans out there today. How did it feel to get out on the field and, and show the fans what you've been working on at practice? It was great to get out there today and just uh, give them a taste of what you know uh, our offense is going to look like in the fall. Obviously, it's nowhere near what we showed you today. We only showed you like uh, maybe four or five different pass plays we ran. But uh, like I said, I was just you know out here having a good time and giving them a show. Matt, spring ball is over. Just talk about the progress the offensive line made. I think we made a lot of progress throughout the whole spring ball. But uh, the thing is, so I was just telling the guys in there in the locker room, we're not there yet. You know, we have to keep working, and you know, uh, ne next workout that we have in the summer, we have to keep working to get better. What's been the biggest challenge with the new scheme, the new offense? What's been the biggest challenge from an offensive lineman's perspective? Uh, biggest challenge is just incorporating those new plays. Uh, like I was saying, like techniques kind of like the same. You know, you're just blocking the guy. You know, it's a you know, Coach Anderson and Coach Mack incorporate kind of like almost the same technique. But the biggest difference is probably you know different plays and and, and that knowing that sense of. Uh, what, what Coach O'Brien wants is probably the biggest difference. You earned an award today. Talk about what that means to you. Oh, I didn't even know it was coming. I, I, I've no, I had no idea it was coming. I hope my parents saw it. You know, it means a lot that uh, my parents were there, able to see it and stuff. So it was, it was a good feeling. How good did it feel to get out there in front of the fans and show the fans what you've been working on to practice a little bit? Oh, it's it's always great to get in front of the fans because it, you know it kind of gets boring sometimes. Football is all about practice. You know, you, you practice and you only play about 13 games, and you know, spring ball and this blue and white game is one of those chances that we could prove that what we got. Joined by Stefan Morris. Well, Stefan, spring practice is over. First of all, let's talk about today's game. How do you feel like you played? Uh, I feel like uh, we did good as a, as a unit. Uh, the secondary, we got some turnovers, which we wanted to accomplish today. As a defense, uh, we, we, we did some good things, but also when you uh, we did some bad things as well. We just reviewed that over tape. But overall, as a far as just spring ball in general, uh, we did really well. I feel like uh, we got better. This is probably one of the best spring ball practices every day. We came out and we competed every day. I mean, and, and it's too. You know, you, like this is probably the first spring practice, first spring game where, where it was just competition. Like people wasn't ready to go party afterwards. Like it wasn't nobody thinking about going to party for Blue White Weekend. It was about getting, getting better, and it was about business. So, I mean, as a, as a union, I just feel like real good about about ourselves going into uh, summer and things like that. You earned an award, most improved defensive player. What do you feel like you improved the most on as a player? Uh, being coachable. I mean, I feel like. 
I, I feel like uh, I always had the ability, uh, been, been put in the right scheme. I just really give all my credit to, to the whole coaching staff, to be honest, uh, especially Coach Butler. Always on me, always looking for things for me to improve. Even when I have positive, it's always something negative. So I give all my credit to Coach Butler, uh, of course my defense coordinator, Coach Drew, for putting me in the type of situations. And then like my teammates around me, like these guys, Gerald Hodges, uh, Harry Ford, uh, Joe Hill, you had no choice not to, not to get better when you're around guys like them every day. Joined by defensive tackle Jordan Hill. Well, Jordan, tell me about the interception play. Um, you know, there was a the certain down situation that, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be a screen play. It was, it was like second and long, third and long. Uh, I was kind of expecting a play. Um, but they usually run it to, to the weak side, which would have been like the nose garden to, to a five tech. But uh, they ran it to my side. I seen Bill Belton turn around. Like, you know what I mean? I was just right there. Kind of put my leg out in front of him a little bit. <laughs> Pick the ball off. Defense gets the win today. Talk about that. Uh, that's big just because, uh, you know, it's a win. Uh, you, you never want to be, you never want to come out of a game a loser. But, uh, you know, it was a good game both ways. Uh, both offense and defense played hard. Give the fans an idea of how much progress the defense has made from practice one through practice 15. Um, we made great strides. Uh, you know, just learning new terminology and, um, you know, at first it was kind of restricting us from playing fast because we were thinking about, you know, what does this word mean? Because some of the words are the same, meaning they're doing different things. But um, towards the end, you know, it was just play after play, and, and, and you were just learning so quick and, and being able to play faster as you, you went on. Great job this